Hey, what's going on? Coming up next, I got a video about how to make fast, easy, free coins uh, without spending any money. So if you want to see that, stick around. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Madden Money Shot, bringing you a Madden 19 mud tip. I think this is my first mud tip. I usually do a couple throughout the years. I find good coin making methods and stuff like that, um, as well as you know tips for what sets to do, whatnot. I just like to do these tips. I don't know how many people are necessarily going to watch it, but um, it's definitely one of my more favorite things to do because I love mud. I didn't always love mud. Uh, a couple years back, I started doing mud, and now I just I just love building my team, man. If you're not into mud, if you're watching this and you're you're you know intimidated or whatever to get into mud, get into mud, man. Stick with it. I'm telling you, you're going to love it. Uh, it's it's the, it's the best game mode. I love CFM, but I love Mutt that much more. I want to build this team up from the ground. I'm already at an 80. I know it's not the highest. I know a lot of you probably got uh, maybe slightly higher in the same range. Let me know in the comment section what, what your team is at right now. Uh, but I don't spend any money. I'm just grinding solos for the most part. I haven't spent any coins, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm, I'm stacking them up uh, for when I really want something. The only dude, actually I lied, the only thing I bought so far this year was Evan Ingram because he's my all-time favorite tight end. He's not even as fast as I was hoping he'd be. But um, I needed a tight end. I just wasn't pulling any uh, worth anything. So I just I went out and I spent about 20k on him. So that's about it. But I've earned up about 20,000 points from doing solos and the mud tip I'm about to show you right now. So this is a really easy mud tip and a lot of people might already know it. But for the people that don't, uh, I'm going to show you. There's a real easy set that you can make um, to, you know, get some fast coins. Like 10K per, let's say, is probably the average. So what you're going to do, I, I probably should have slowed that down for the people that don't really know. But you go into item sets for uh, for real mutt beginners that don't know this stuff. You go into sets. And this part is probably pretty confusing, wondering what all this stuff is. Mutt is like one big puzzle that you're constantly putting together for people that don't know and are trying to get into mutt. But today I'm going into tokens because that's going to be where I'm going to gonna make my bread today. Uh, I'm gonna go into. I mean, I'm trying to make a lead token. You can see right here. I have not made one yet because I just can't part with one of the the 84 pluses that I have. I don't have a lot. Um, I'm honestly thinking about getting rid of Cam Chancellor because he's not doing crap. But I get mad training points for him, so I don't really think I'm gonna necessarily put him in a set. But um, I just haven't found a guy. I could probably get rid of Demarcus Lawrence um, because I think I have like three defensive ends around the same. But uh, but that's something I'm worried about later. Today I'm doing silver tokens. If you're doing the um, the solos, you're gonna get plenty of these silver tokens. As you can see, I don't have any because I keep putting them in here. So going through this, I'm gonna show you guys um, how to get them really cheap, uh, which is through this menu. I'm gonna go through the search menu here. But either way, doing these silver tokens and then flipping them in the next section over for playbooks is probably one of the quicker way to get coins to make coins. I mean, you can easily double your profits if not more. Oh, I also wanted to say, and uh, in the same set, this is the perfect time of year to make uh, badges, uh, elite badges. If you have the extra cards, make these elite badges. I'm about halfway there, like I said. I just can't part with any of these guys yet. I'm hoping to get a good pull of a player that I don't really care for, or you know, something. Because later on in the year, if you don't play mutt, you won't know this, but uh, you'll need more more cards to get more badges. They, they, they as the teams get better they like to compensate by making the badge requirements harder so if you have cards now that you're not using be sure to put them in the badges because like i said soon these are going to be like way way harder to get so stash them get some badges get as many badges as you can especially the elite ones because they're probably the most important and then stash them you don't have to use them right away but you definitely want to work on that so i'm going to make one real quick and it's really easy every day i get a free one when I go into, you have to buy a pack to get the daily bonus. So I typically buy the buy a player for 500 coins, which I'm going to go ahead and do again right now, even though I already did it today. If you buy this player, you have a pretty 50-50 chance between getting a 62 and a 66 or higher, which you're going to need to do the silver tokens. So I just went ahead and bought that and I got a 66. So I probably just saved myself a couple hundred coins right there, considering I'm going to have to try to snipe them in a second like i said this is not necessarily i shouldn't have used the term snipe probably because i'm not i'm not necessarily making huge profits but i'm making a good i'm gonna say like i said i could easily make five thousand or more off of doing this set so now i have two and two i might as well go ahead and add them real quick uh actually i'm not gonna add kerrigan what am i thinking i'm not adding kerrigan i, I might build kerrigan i'm not entirely sure i'm not even really tripping over if i don't but i'm gonna add the ones that i have because they're not really gonna do much for me i think one of these guys can't even look one or more neither one of them can be added why like <laughs> probably because my team's probably at the minimum so that's fine either way now i'm gonna go in here i'm gonna try to find some cheap coins so there are some cheap uh, silver so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and set it to quality no that's right it's my bad it's type so i'm gonna go to type and i'm just gonna go through each offensive position one by one 
The idea is I'm looking for some really cheap ones and I'm just gonna go ahead and cycle through them real quick. 500 is not cheap enough because I can spend 500 just like I did and take a shot at getting a 66. So I'm looking for something even cheaper than 500. Typically I won't buy it unless it's like 400 or less. So here we go, we got a 350. Saving 150 coins by buying that guy. Like I said, I will not buy it unless it's 450. I'm sorry, not 450, less than 450. So it has to be 400 for me to buy it. And the reason that is, is because I'd rather roll the dice and take a shot that I'll get a 66 plus by just spending the extra 50 coins the way that I just showed you. And that's the reason that I will only buy them unless they're 400 or less. So here's another one. Just got placed. Probably wouldn't have lasted long. So if I can average about 350 for 10 of these, I'm spending 3,500 and I will easily double that if not more. So that's basically the plan here. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep working this. Um, I've gotten these cards as low as 150. You know what I mean? Like you can get them real dirt cheap. People make mistakes and post them for ridiculous amounts. Um, never got it for less than 150 though, to be honest. So they're out there. So I'm just gonna keep going through these position by position. So like I said, if you're doing the uh, the solos or getting packs, whatever, you should be loaded with silver cards. So you should have no problem getting the silver tokens. So I would say you're probably spending somewhere between three and 5,000, but if you already have the silver cards, you're probably spending less. You're probably spending like a thousand or even free. You might even be getting these for free. So once you make the packs, you're gonna go over to the next one here. You have your choice, offense or defense. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick one here, show you what it looks like. Now I get to choose whatever playbook I want. And I'm not going to choose it yet. I have my option, but I want to see what playbook right now is selling for the highest price. So I'm going to back out before I finish that. Go into the auction block. If I can uh, back out quick. Then I'm going to go into the auction block and I'm going to find out who's selling for the most. And you know, it's real simple. If you just want to go over to playbook type, It'll give you a real quick picture of the ones that are selling cheap, like the Giants, the Patriots are usually selling cheap. So now I'm just going to go team to team, team to team, and find out who's selling for the most. The Colts, I went right to the Colts, because honestly, they're selling pretty high pretty much every time, and I don't know why. The Eagles playbook sucks this year. I don't know what happened there. Uh, I'm just going to some of the more popular books. Jets, so I could either sell it for like, you know, 11000 it looks like there. Rams are pretty popular. I'm going by some of the more popular books. I have a pretty good idea of what sells. For a good amount saints probably but they're they're you know everybody has the saints books i mean that's why so looking around like i said i i was pretty sure coming into it that certain books are usually pretty high well the ravens is they're cheap there i could snipe that and resell it but i'm not gonna bother it's not a huge profit margin for me to waste my time redskins book you know whatever like i said i had a pretty good idea the colts was gonna be one of the best so it looks like i'm gonna stick with the colts I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make sure here for a second. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna underbid that. I'm gonna sell it for 11,000, say, maybe 11,500. Hope that somebody will buy it. I should have a lot of playbooks sitting around in my uh, inventory too. Probably wanna repost, I just got on, so. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna make the uh, the Colts playbook. You can go with the de defensive playbooks too. I, I went with the offensive playbook. Uh, and now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sell this bad boy. But first I'm gonna go into my item binder. And then I'm going to show you how many playbooks I have. I use quite a bit. I lab on here with them. I got seven. Oh, my bad. That's uniforms. Whatever. So I got six playbooks. Um, Chiefs is the one I'm currently using. I highly recommend it. I have not sold the Dolphins one yet. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put these on the bid. So here we go. 11500 That's another one. Like I said, Dolphins, for whatever reason, typically sells pretty high. A lot of people don't know how to make these playbooks. They just go in here and they buy them with coins. So I'm going to take advantage of their ignorance. So when this book sells, like I said, I probably made this for not a lot the same way that I didn't make this one. I didn't spend a whole lot making this one. Uh, somewhere between 3,000 and maybe even less, depending on how many silver cards you have already. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sell this book too. Sell this for 11.5, you know, hope it sells for that. Even if it sells for less, even if I don't sell it right away and I sell it later for like 10,000, it's an easy 20,000. I made it in about five minutes. You know what I mean, five minutes. And I made about, you know, I guess I'm gonna go be, be, uh, get the 25. I'm gonna go, about five minutes, I could easily make 11,000 coins. I'll sell the Saints playbook just to make some money, because I can always make it back, you know what I mean? So buy now price for the Saints, for whatever reason, is 12,000. So I'm gonna go ahead and do 11,500 again. So I have about 35,000 in books, and it takes very little effort to make them. So like I said, if you have a bunch of silver cards lying around, 
say you were to sell those silver cards, you'd probably make about half of what you're going to make if you turn them into playbooks and sell them. So that's just a real simple mud tip. I don't expect these to sell within seconds of posting them. So that's it. Like I said, I don't think anybody's going to sell, but when they do, I'll have at least 30,000 coins uh, without breaking a sweat. They took as long to make as this video took as long to make, which is like five minutes. So that's it. If you guys want to see more mud tips, do me a favor, hit the like button, and I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching, Mad Money Shout Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.